Hey everybody, GC13 here. I've often said that my favorite episode of Rick and Morty is Vindicators 3. Yeah, I know, it's not a very popular episode, and the anti-hype from it may very well be why the episode that aired the next week, The Whirly Durly Conspiracy, got the lowest ratings of the season. Why don't you go ahead and like the video if you're cool with Vindicators 3, dislike it if you can never forgive me for liking it, and let me know down in the comments below what your favorite episode is. With that out of the way, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but it's kind of hard to explain why something is your favorite. It kind of just is. I mean, I know my orange vanilla Coke probably isn't the best sweet drink out there, but when I just want to kick back and watch some YouTube videos, I know what I reach for. It's the same way with Rick and Morty. I would never say Vindicators 3 is its best episode, not even the best episode in Season 3. But when I want to kick back and just watch something, Vindicators 3 will always come to mind. So if I can't explain to you why Vindicators 3 is my favorite, I think I should at least tell you some things I like about it. To start off, I want to look at the Vindicators themselves. Rick may think of them all as being one-dimensional and boring, basically carbon copies of each other, but this is one of those times where he's wrong. I mean, just look at Vance. He's the most different of the bunch. Do you see any of the other characters making any effort to interact with Morty back on the ship? No, Vance is the only one who cares about any of that photo op stuff. When drunk Rick reveals his trap, does anyone else freak out and try to bolt? No. Again, Vance is the only one. It's just one episode, focusing on something else, so there's not enough time to give each character their own time to shine, but all of the other characters clearly act differently from one another. What shine is left is spent on Supernova, with her pivotal role at the end, and she could hardly be more different from Vance. What she does have in common with him, a keen eye for manipulating public perception of the Vindicators, isn't even something Drunk Rick was thinking about when he was mocking their superficial angsty hero attributes. No matter what Rick thinks, each Vindicator is different. Another thing I like about Vindicators 3 is what a softie we get to see Rick being. Sure, Rick gets to be the all-powerful god we love to see him as, but Rick is vulnerable here. Emotionally, he really resents the adoration Morty feels for the Vindicators, and the episode doesn't shy away from Morty's resentment that Rick has managed to ruin yet another thing for him. Drunk Rick may complain that his grandson buys into the Vindicator hype, but sober Rick knows how afraid he is of losing Morty. That emotional vulnerability is actually very important to Rick as a character. Remove his love for Morty and his insecurities, and you just have a super powerful character who's a jerk to everyone around him. Rick needs that duality to keep him interesting, and to keep the audience hoping that everything turns out well for him. Not just survival and whatever adventure he happens to be on, but that he manages to restrain himself before he alienates everyone who cares about him. As for physical vulnerability, Supernova shows us that no matter how smart a Rick is, his life can end in a flash. As is so often the case, it's luck rather than intellect that saves him this time. Supernova isn't an archon of justice. She's a super powerful woman willing to do anything to safeguard the galaxy. Yes, Rick got the satisfaction of knowing that she agrees with him about the irrelevance of good and evil, but she got the satisfaction of knowing that she could have easily killed him had she not had a reputation to maintain. On the less serious side, the episode has plenty of humor. Sober Rick not even remembering Noob Noob at the end of the episode, with Morty's reaction, was priceless. Most of what Drunk Rick said was great, especially the part where he's happy to liken what he's doing to Saul while Sober Rick thinks that would make him a hack. I particularly loved the bit about how jaded Morty was about Rick making neutrino bombs when he's drunk. Morty, how many of these- Too many, Rick! Too many! Vindicators 3 just makes me laugh, and that's always a plus. So, there it is. Some things I like about Vindicators 3. If you don't have a favorite episode of Rick and Morty to comment about, maybe you can comment about your favorite part of Vindicators 3. Make sure you've hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more cartoon videos.